Hey what's up everyone, so if you haven't noticed Squarespace has quietly been rolling out updates over the last few months and to be honest they needed to. But I'm not going to get into that in this video because in this video we're going to take a look at these new features and how to use them. So below you'll find chapters covered in each feature in case there's a particular one you're interested in so feel free to click around. Also most of these only apply to Squarespace 7.1 but I'll let you know with the graphic which versions each feature apply to. So let's get into it. Right, the first thing they've added and one that in my opinion should have been an option from day one is a blank starting template. Now I know what you're thinking, if it's a blank template then I'm going to have to do all the work myself. And yet that is true but for those of us who work with designers who dream up things that are about as far from a Squarespace template as chalk is from cheese. Cheese. Then this is a nice little addition. So gone are the days of finding a template then spending literally minutes stripping out the demo content. Now when you're starting a new site you'll see the blank template options scattered through the starting point selection page. Now this is only available in Squarespace 7.1, so if you do roll back to version 7, tough, basically. So finally we get an accordion block. It's basic, but it's still an accordion. And when I say basic, I mean you're limited to just having text in the drop-down, so there's no option for images or other content blocks, or even code, which would have been nice. I actually released a video a couple of weeks ago explaining how to make an accordion with HTML and CSS, so if you're after something a bit more advanced, go and check that video out. It's well worth it. So you'll find the new accordion on the basic blocks when you click on an insert point. And it's all self-explanatory when it comes to adding the content. And the design, honestly, there are quite a few options to customise this and make it your own. So you can change the fonts and the pattern and the way the block behaves. One thing I would have liked to have seen though is the option to use a custom icon. Maybe a JSON file so we could have a lot of animation play on click. Not too much to ask. Now hands up or thumbs up, who remembers in older versions of Squarespace when you'd open the site styles menu then click on the block that you wanted to edit and that'd take you to the section of the site styles where you can make your changes. It all seemed a much simpler way of doing things than going to one place to edit this and another place to edit that. But that's where we're at now and the latest block to get an update is the header. So if you go to the header options with the global tab selected, under styles you'll see four options. Solid, gradient, theme and dynamic. And each one of these gives you different ways to style the navigation. So theme will let you pick one of the colour themes that you can set in the site styles menu. And dynamic, like it says underneath, it'll use the theme of the first section of a page to determine the style of the nav, so effectively giving you the option to have a different nav on each page. But it's these two, solid and gradient, which I think are more exciting because they give us a few more options. So selecting one of these gives us full control over the opacity and colours, as well as background blur, borders and drop shadow. So it's possible to make something unique without having to CSS the crap out of it. And honestly, if I had a spreadsheet with the tally of code and requests that I get, some of these would be right up there with what people want the most. In fact, in a recent poll on my channel of those who knew about these updates most, even though it was only marginal, were most excited by these new header styles. Next is image masking or image shape. So now you can upload a photo and change the shape of it without having to run it through Photoshop or Canva or Affinity. You don't hear that one much. So these new options can be found under the design tab of the image options and then under shape. And some of these shapes are funky to say the least, but hey, you know, whatever floats your boat. You can even open the image in a light box which will show you the full image without the mask. So that's it for this video, let me know in the comments which feature you think's the best and if there's any features you'd like to see in the future and maybe we can pest the Squarespace to make them happen. Either way, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya.